Hey there guys, DJ Slope here from Slope's Game Room. And yes, I have been given the exclusive reveal of the new uh, Evercade handheld uh, retro gaming device that actually takes cartridges. We've known about this for quite some time, but now the trailer is finally here. It'll be properly released later on today, but this is right here, the exclusive reveal. I'm not going to keep you guys hanging around just to get this video up in reviews and um, make you watch. <laughs> We're going to play the trailer straight away, uninterrupted, and then we'll talk a little bit afterwards about what I think about the Evercade. Welcome to Slope's Game Room. So there you have it, that was the Evercade trailer, finally released, it's uh, obviously quite, a, I suppose, a bit of a generic trailer, but uh, yeah, well, it's exactly what I expected in all honesty, it's obviously hard to tell from these uh, pre-rendered shots, you know, exactly what the emulation's going to be like, all that sort of thing, uh, we do, we can see that it's a four hour battery life, which is pretty good, I suppose, um, you know, it does take cartridges, which is one of the big, big selling points, as a HDMI out, that's obviously very good as well, um, but obviously it's going to come down to how well that emulation plays, and obviously with a trailer like this, we can't, uh, uh, we can't predict that it doesn't really show us that like i say it's sort of pre-rendered so we'll see when it actually comes out and i do think i'll be getting myself a copy of it so i will show you guys firsthand when i do get that now over on the website there'll be a link below by the way guys this isn't sponsored or anything like that just asked if i wanted to reveal it and i do um so let's have a look through let's have a look through um in other words these opinions are my own <laughs> So the console, including one cart, is $59.99, which is a bloody good price, in, in all honesty. Like, that's only slightly more than a top-end one PlayStation 4 game, you know, like one of the one of the higher-end games. So that's pretty good. So $59.99, that's UK, $69.99 Euros, and $79.99. So yeah, it's about £59.99. There you go. Uh, the premium version is going to include free carts, and that's uh, £79.99 for the UK, and all the way up to $100 or $99.99 for the Americans out there. And the prices of the carts, this is pretty awesome is 15 pounds or 20 dollars that's pretty pretty good if i'm honest because as you can see from the trailer each um uh, each cartridge is going to actually hold multiple games and these games they're pretty good and guys i mean straight off the bat th th there are a decent amount of cartridges here i mean look let's start off with um you know atari that, that's a, that's a pretty standard one that you're going to get with most uh, the Atari Collection 1, um, you've got Centipede Adventure, uh, Alien Brigade, I'm seeing Missile Command on there, Food Fight, a great game, Tempest, Ninja Golf, <laughs> there's, um, uh, is, is that Yar oh, Yar's Return, uh, yeah, there's, there's some actually genuinely decent games on there, Night Driver, Canyon Bomber, um, yeah, 15 quid, have your own little cartridge to put in there, that's really, really cool, because if I look down here... Ah, make a mess. Here's my um, one here that I got from the awesome fun stock, uh, which is great, but it's only going to have, what's that, 50 games on there? Um, and you can't put any more games on there. There's no SD card slot or anything like that. 
So obviously something like this is gonna really, really help that. Um, the only problem is, how long are they gonna continue working on these cartridges? If they just can keep keep doing it, if, even if they only release 50, or maybe even less than 50, it's still gonna be a worthwhile purchase to own these. These are officially licensed uh, 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 contracts they have with these companies, which is good. So there you go, Atari Collection 1, there's Atari Collection 2. Yep, all the usual ones, Atari Collection 2, there's uh, Yars Revenge, which is <laughs> weirdly on the second set. There's a Street Racer, I'm seeing a Sprint Master, Centipede of course, Millipede as well. Um, things like bowling, <laughs> you know. I personally don't see the point in playing things like this anymore, you know. Um, but, you know, hey ho, 15 quid, that's not too bad. Uh, what else is there? I think that's a Solarius, which is pretty good. Uh, Demons to Dr Drymans, I actually don't know that one. So yeah, 15 quid, that's pretty good. But if we start getting in a little bit more exciting stuff here, for more exciting for me at least, you've got the Namco collection, which has fewer games, but I'm seeing Pac-Man, I'm seeing Galaxian, I'm seeing Mappy, Mappy Kids, Quad Challenge, that's all really good. Honestly, I'm happy with this. Then you have the Data East collection, uh, which has Bad Dudes, Burger Time, one of my all-time favorite games, uh, Side Pocket, if you want that, <laughs> Karate Champ, uh, Fighters History, uh, two crew dudes. I, I've got a soft spot for two crew dudes. I don't mind two crew dudes. Midnight Resistance, Joe and Mac 2, so, strangely enough. Magical Drop 2, that, that's a good collection of games. So you're obviously getting a few less on that. Uh, there's the Interplay collection, and there's a couple of different Interplay collections. This, this is quite impressive, if I'm honest, guys. So the original Interplay. Oh, okay, so now we're getting into the higher end games. This literally only has six games on it, but six games for 15 quid. What we got in there, Clay Fighter, Earthworm Jim alone, the system is worth it for Earthworm Jim. Uh, Battle Chess, um, actually it's got quite a good following, Battle Chess. Uh, Boogerman, I like I like the, the style of Boogerman more than the game Boogerman. I wish that Kickstarter uh, kicked off, I really do. Yeah, I mean, Titan, a couple of others. I mean, that's a pretty good collection. And then obviously there's the Collection 2, which, you know, in all honesty, they could have fit them both on the same cartridge. But 15 quid ain't really too bad at all. Yes, of course, Earthworm Jim 2. I'm seeing the, the Brainies, one of my earlier Complete Histories. I did a video with that. Uh, Rad Gravity, Prehistoric Man, Claymates. Oh, and Clay Fighter 2 as well. So, I mean, yeah, 100% worth 15 quid. And, you know, you start looking at things like, like what, what, who was it? Um, I am 8-bit re releasing Earthworm Jim 1 and 2 for like 150 quid. That is not worth it in the slightest. Like, if I was going to be an opinion channel or a ranting channel, you would hear me just going crazy, thinking, this is not worth it, because it's really, really not. 15 quid, this is. Um, like I say, if the emulation is up to scratch. And uh, another one that I do want to talk about very quickly, which is the latest one announced, is Mega Cat Studios. Now, I've worked with Mega Cat Studios in the past, and they're a great, great company. And you've got quite a few on here. I'm seeing Coffee Crisis, which I do own somewhere. Here it is. <laughs> yep, you've got Coffee Crisis here. Um, that's on the list. What else is there? Yes, there it is. Creepy Brawlers. I own that one. That's a pretty damn good game, actually. It's a, uh, a zombie version of Punch-Out. It's pretty good. And I've not played this one yet, but Little Medusa as well. And if I'm not mistaken, yep, yeah, that's on there too. Uh, Log Jammers. That's a great game. Tanza, I've not tried. Old Towers, I have. That's a great game. Super Painter's pretty good. Um, and honestly, I don't know the rest on there. But guys, I mean, that is probably the best collection on here, in my opinion, just because... They're, they're not as readily available. 15 quid for that that collection of games. That's pretty damn awesome, if you ask me. Coffee Crisis, Log Jammers, alone. Oh, and, and Creepy Brawlers. Definitely, definitely worth getting that. So, yeah. We'll have to see what the emulation is like. But in all honesty, guys, I think that's pretty good system. 60 quid uh, plus £15 per cartridge. Yeah. Sign me up. Like I said, this isn't a sponsored video or anything like that, and this isn't normally the sort of videos I like to make, but, you know, hey, people like these retro systems, and I'm definitely a sucker for them, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, Ever-expanding library, you can save your progress, obviously save states, I'm assuming. I'd be interested to see if you can do that on the Mega Cat Studios ones. We'll have to see. Like I said, it is an official licensed uh, uh, content on here. Exclusive collectible elements. Not sure what that's about. 
uh, yours to keep forever, of course, and celebrate the classics. There you go. So if you want to know more about the Evercade, there'll be information below. And uh, yeah, that's enough from me. So this is DJ Slope signing out and hopefully I'll see you all next time.